Welcome to this online presentation in the context of the 8th International Conference on Technology, Knowledge and Society in Los Angeles. My name is Caroline Roth-Ebner. I'm a media and communication scientist in Austria and today I'm going to speak about the transformation of informatized work. Since the diffusion of computers into offices in the 1980s and 1990s, our working environment has become more and more influenced by ICT. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technologies. The main question I address in my presentation is, what are the socio-cultural implications of work that is dominated by ICT? To answer this question, I will first give an overview of the current situation at work referring to the theoretical concepts of virtual and informatized work and the concept of mediatization. In the second part, I will introduce my study to you, upon which the presentation is based. The main part is dedicated to the socio-cultural implications of informatized work. The preliminary results of my study show that the use of ICT at work is not only transforming our working conditions and structures, it also influences our communications, our relationships and the relation between private and business spheres. These developments can be classified into three main categories – acceleration, flexibility and subjectification. In my presentation I will explain these categories by using some examples from my study. But first let us start with the theoretical contextualization. This presentation deals with the informatization of work. What exactly does that mean? As proposed by Frank Klemann and Ingo Matuszek, informatized work is characterized by the fact that the processing of information, this can also be communication, is the main subject of work. Additionally, this kind of information work is conducted with ICT. A prominent example are call centers, where information is spread via digital telephony and where computers control the communication. According to Andreas Bös and Sabine Pfeiffer, informatization is a key factor of the current transformation of work. They list the following points as the main characteristics of the change. First, with the use of the Internet, a new area of action is emerging that refers to all areas of life. They call this area the sphere of information. Second, informatization is producing new structures of space and time. Third, enterprises are both actors of rationalizing processes and simultaneously objects thereof because they are part of global power structures. Fourth, new literacies are required to cope with the challenges of informatization. To illustrate the relevance of ICT use at work, I would like to show you some figures. These are the results of a European survey on ICT use by enterprises. As you can see, computers are used in 99% of all enterprises. 98% use the Internet. So one can assume that vast numbers of employees, even those in non-ICT sectors, have to deal with media technology. Now let's move on to the concept of virtual work, which is relevant because of the increasing trend of working online. But first of all, what is virtual work? Well, this is work based on IT networks, which enable project-based work that is independent of space and time. That is why Birgit Huber and Gunther Hirschfelder also call it translocal work. The industrial psychologists Erik Andriesen and Matti Vatienen have examined mobile and virtual working contexts. In their view, virtual work is challenging working structures for both employees and employers, mainly because of less fixed social relations. In fact, the pure presence of 100% virtual work might not exist very often. Sociologists emphasized the strong relevance of face-to-face -face relationships at work. And that is also what I was told by the participants of my study. However, in many working environments, there are well-established mixed forms of virtual and face-to-face -face work, as is the case, for example, with one of the participants of my study. While she sat in Austria and collaborated with her Austrian colleagues physically, the team of software developers she led was located in the Czech Republic. They were connected to each other all day long via instant messenger. The main thesis of this presentation is that the use of technologies has an impact on social and cultural patterns. 
This idea follows the concept of mediatization. With this concept, Friedrich Kotz describes the social and cultural change with regard to media and media developments and changing communication practices. According to Stig Jawart, the media are the agents of that change. Kotz underlines that communication, as a symbolic act, is essential for human beings. Their communications construct reality and so do media and what they communicate. His emphasis is not on the technological aspects, but on the social communicative actions among people. Now that we have briefly defined the theoretical context, I would like to turn to my current study. The study I am presenting is titled Work in the Dynamics of Media, Time and Space. It focuses on so-called Digicom workers. These are people whose work is shaped by the characteristics of informatized and virtual work, as described above. In fact, they use ICT intensively in their work environment. The participants in my study are managers, software designers, communication consultants, entrepreneurs and scientists. The smartphone, iPad and notebook are their attendants throughout the day. Without digital media, their work would often be bereft of purpose. The main questions posed in my study are What are the influences of ICT use in working contexts? How does the use of ICT at work change the workers' perceptions of time and space? And what transformations, what sociocultural implications derive from the informatization of work? In this presentation I focus on the third question. Here you can see the research design which is primarily based on 20 qualitative interviews with Digicom workers in different working contexts. Additional data was gained through visualizations, carried out and then verbally commented by the workers after each interview. This approach helps to bring into definition the main focus of the interviews and allows participants to discover new aspects which did not occur to them during the conversation. Before the interviews took place, I used the diary method. The interview partners were asked to document their ICT use for a period of one week. This helped the interviewees to reflect their media use in order to be able to speak about it. And what I am currently working on is an online survey to extend the results of the investigation to a broader population. Now we come to the main part of my presentation, to the question of how the informatization of work is transforming our daily work. In this context, the preliminary results of my study can be classified into three main categories acceleration, flexibility and subjectification. Each of these can be seen positively as well as critically. The examples provided below, resulting from my study, will serve to explain these categories. I will start with the process of acceleration. According to the results of my study, ICT accelerate working processes. Email and above all the mobile internet on smartphones and tablet devices such as the iPad have revolutionized the written transport of information. A male sales manager told me in the interview that without his smartphone it would take him at least one and a half hours at night to answer all of the emails he received during the day. But the smartphone allows him to check and answer emails in just a second while he is in the car or waiting for a business meeting. However, this is a double-edged sword. As a consequence of this acceleration, the Digicom workers increase their working speed and their amount of communication. More and more is done in less time and very often by multitasking. In fact, this can lead to stress, as some of my interview partners have mentioned. Looking at the visualization drawn by a male senior IT manager, you can clearly see Don Quixote tilting at windmills. The manager uses this picture as a metaphor for his struggle against the media and the streams of information he has to deal with all day long. To me, it symbolizes the information overflow, or, as I would suggest, the communication overflow. The second implication of informatized work is flexibility. As mentioned above, ICT enables the Digicom workers to act independently of time and space. This represents a great advantage, for example, for one of the participants in my study who is a female scientist and has kids. 
The notebook and the smartphone allow her to work at home at night when her children have gone to bed. That's often when she meets her students via instant messenger to discuss tasks. In the interview she mentions that she would not be able to work without ICT. On the slide you can see her visualization in which she illustrates that ICT helps to merge the life spheres of family life and professional life. On the other hand, this flexibility can be seen critically when the merging of life spheres leads to stress because no place is free of work. A male sales manager realized during the interview that not one single room in his house was separated from work. He works everywhere. This makes it hard for him to regenerate in his leisure time. Finally, I will introduce the concept of subjectification. The working contexts my interviewees deal with are very often organized on a project basis. There are goals that have to be reached, but the steps that lead to each goal lie within the responsibility of the individual employee. What is decisive is the outcome and not the efforts that lead to the goal. This mode of work implicates the chance of achieving self-affirmation. However, the employees also have to manage all of the processes at their own risk. Viewed through a somewhat critical lens, this trend can lead to self-exploitation. All in all, this development is called subjectification and is, in fact, influenced by ICT. For example, a female part-time Digicom worker mentions that she often takes business telephone calls in her leisure time while she is taking care of her kids. She cannot ignore her responsibility for some projects. This leads to the problem that she is unable to manage the phone call professionally on the one hand and on the other hand she cannot concentrate on her kids while she is on the phone. In her visualization she illustrated her feeling of monopolization by ICT. Coming to the end, the ubiquitous use of ICT at work is clearly transforming our daily work. But while it opens new possibility, it also bears risks. Both the chances and the risks depend on the very individual competencies and strategies of the working people. That, however, is another story that will be told another time. Thank you for your attention.